Hey everyone, in this video we're going to use GitHub to create a repository. We'll share that repository and we'll connect GitHub to Visual Studio, create a project, and push that project to GitHub. So to start, I guess you need a GitHub login. You should have created that already. I'll sign out so I can start from the beginning. So if I go to github.com, uh, you can click sign up if you haven't already created an account. Uh, I'll click sign in, and I'm going to sign in with my username and password. Okay, so on the initial screen when you first log in, on the right hand side there, you see a list of your repositories. So I don't have my class repository set up at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I want to show you a tool to do that. You can click New Repository to create it in GitHub. But I want to show you a, a nice tool called GitHub Desktop. So if I just Google GitHub Desktop, or I can go directly to desktop.github.com. And right at the top of the screen there, you can click Download GitHub Desktop. Once it's downloaded, just click on the exe. It's a real easy installer to walk through. Uh, and once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and open it. I already have it opened on my computer here. It's easy to just search for GitHub. There's the desktop app. OK, once it's open, now we can create a new repository. What's nice about GitHub Desktop is that it creates the local repository and the repository in GitHub uh, just with a click of a button. It's, it's kind of a nice interface between your computer and the GitHub server. So first we need to create the local repository. Really this is just a folder on your machine and it's got a GitHub settings file inside of it. So I'm going to create that. I'll call it IT2620. My first initial and last name. Uh, something important is remember the path to your GitHub repository. So I'm going to go ahead and create it where I create all my other class files. So make sure that you remember this path. And then the last thing is uh, git ignore. And we're going to be using Visual Studio Project. So what this does is when we actually publish our files up to the GitHub server, it removes any Visual Studio settings files that might, might exist that are pointing to local resources on the computer. And just real quick before I click Create Repository, I want to show you these other options. Add would be as if we already have a repository on our, compu on our computer. You can set up a repository a number of ways. You can use a, a, there's a real easy command line tool. You could use the website and so forth. Uh, then Create is what we're doing. We're creating it locally. And then we'll publish it up to the server. And then there's clone. And what clone does is it takes an existing project that ex exists in github.com and it creates a copy onto your computer. OK. So we're going to go ahead and create one. We get the name, the path, and get ignore Visual Studio. Click create repository. And now uh, that repository exists locally on your computer. It does not exist in github.com yet. Luckily, in GitHub Desktop, there's a real easy feature. Just click the Publish button. It's going to ask you for a description, which will reside up at the github.com server. I'm going to say class files for IT2620. And please, for class, click Private Repository. I'm going to check this in everybody's repository. Uh, and finally, just a note, make sure you have GitHub selected, not Enterprise. Enterprise is going to act, ask for a server. And that server would be if a company had their own dedicated GitHub server available. So now I'll click Publish. So now it has published our GitHub repository from our local computer up to the GitHub.com server. So a couple things happen in there. So, you know, in a normal project, we save the files periodically to our computer. Now we have to do uh, three steps between getting it up to the server. And you can you think of it almost like creating a Word document on your computer and, uh, and then saving it to Dropbox, right? You save it to the folder 
on your computer if you've used Dropbox or SkyDrive. And then there's a, a service running in the background which copies that file up to the server. Well, kind of the same deal with GitHub. Uh, we're going to do three steps. First, we're going to save the, the file. Then we're going to do three, three uh, GitHub steps. We're going to add it to the repository. So we're going to instruct uh, GitHub that that file does belong in the repository by adding it. Then we're going to commit it, and committing it actually saves it to our local repository. And then we're going to push it. And push it means we're going to take the copy that exists on our local computer and send it up to the github.com server. Luckily, Visual Studio has some tools built into it that does that do that takes care of these steps for us. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close GitHub Desktop. We'll take a real quick look inside of uh, GitHub. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on uh, my user profile again. And now you'll see that repository is listed here. Feel free to browse around. You can see what files are in there right now. Right now it's just this settings file, dot .git attributes. Um, feel free to browse around. OK, so now I'm, I'm going to open up Visual Studio and talk about how we're going to manage our repository from Visual Studio. First thing I need to do is disconnect, so don't pay attention for just a second, because I was already signed in and tried this earlier. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Oh, I can't remove it. Okay, so let's do this now. Uh, first, open up Team Explorer. So you notice before when we created projects in Visual Studio, we used the Solution Explorer to browse files. There's another tab called Team Explorer. If you go to View, Team Explorer, uh, and this helps you with any source code repositories that you have set up. So first thing to do inside of Team Explorer is actually connect to GitHub. So I'm going to click on the drop down arrow next to manage connections and then click connect to GitHub. And enter your user credentials. Make sure again you have GitHub selected, not GitHub Enterprise. And then click log in. Okay, so now we're logged in. I'm going to add the repository. And the, the way that we add the repository is by, by adding the local directory where that repository exists. So if you forget it. Remember, we can go back to GitHub Desktop. Um, you know, I'm just going to close it. And I'm not sure why I did it. You should see your GitHub repository listed. We can right click on the repository in GitHub desktop and select open and explore. What's nice about that is we can just copy the path. So I'm going to copy that path into Visual Studio and then click add. Hmm. Okay, that looks like it's there. Looks like it exists on my local uh, drive here, although it's got a mark. So let's let's keep trying it. Okay, so I've got the local GitHub repository. I'm going to double click on it now. So now in Team Explorer, we're viewing that GitHub repository. Okay, if we look inside of that folder, there are no projects or solutions, just the Git files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project 
inside of this repository now. To do that, you'll see at the bottom solutions and I'm gonna click new. Another way to do it is if we just created a new project, we would just have to make sure that we select the right directory. So here's the directory where that repository is. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to solutions and I'm gonna click new and we'll call it lab two. Okay, so now we've created our initial project. I'm gonna save it. So it's saved to our local computer, but it's not actually on github.com. So let's take a look at how do we add it to github.com. Listed under project, you'll see this first button is changes. Click on changes. And now you can see included changes and it lists off all of the uh, forms that are affected. And you can see it's marked add, add, add. And you can actually uh, exclude individual files if you want by right clicking and saying excluding, or I'm sorry, selecting exclude. Uh, we, but we wanna add everything for the project, right? So leave it, leave it as is. And then in this comments box, this yellow comment box, we're gonna add a comment for the commit. Okay, so I'm gonna say uh, created lab to project. And we're going to commit it. Uh, now, what committing committing it does means that we're going to tell GitHub that we want to add this to our project. Um, but I also want to add it to the GitHub.com server. So I want to say yes, add all these files, commit it. We want to we do want to keep these changes and push it up to the GitHub.com server. So what I want to do is uh, click this drop down arrow and select commit and push. Now what's happening, hopefully it works, uh, is that it, we've saved the files, we've committed them, we've instructed GitHub that we do want to keep all the changes there, all those ads, and it sent the files up to the github.com server. So now I'm going to go to the online site for that project, and I'm just going to click on the repository name again, and look at that. Now you can see the lab2 project exists, there's the solution file, here's the project folder, we can see our uh, dot visual basic project file we can see the source code the designer file which is ha has our uh, information about our GUI okay so uh, now we've created the project inside the repository we've saved it we've committed it we've said we want to add it to github and then also we've pushed it up to the server so now as you're developing So let's let's add a new file. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click uh, add new item, and I'll just add a text file. I'll call it README. Uh, and then I'll just put uh, testing GitHub push. So I'll save that, and then in the uh, form I'll. Oops, I'll add a button. And then I'll save the project. So now I've, I've done two different types of changes. I've modified a file and I've added a new file. Uh, I've saved everything. So now I'm gonna click on Team Explorer. Uh, I'm gonna click on the home button and I'm gonna click changes again. And you can see that now what it's doing is it's listing just the files that we've changed. So here's the new file, you can see it's marked add. Here's uh, the project has been changed. The resource file ha has changed because we added a button. Actually it was added because there were no resources before. And the form one designer file has changed because we added something to the GUI. So I'm gonna say added readme file. That's the big change that we're sending to GitHub. And again, I'm gonna commit and push up to GitHub. And now we're gonna jump onto the GitHub server. Again, I'll click on the repository and then I'll drill into lab two here. And now we can see 
the files have changed. So here's form one dot resource changed 12 seconds ago, right? That's the file that changed. And readme.txt 12 seconds ago. So it added the readme file. Okay. Uh, something else we can do in the GitHub server is click on history. And what you'll see listed here is all of the commits. So as long as you've com uh, committed and pushed the files up to the server, you'll see that now we have two different commits. First, we created the project and we added the readme, right? That's when you clicked commit and, and push. Uh, in addition, it gives you a commit ID. And this commit ID is actually what you're going to send to me. You can send this whole commit ID would be wonderful. Uh, if you're using the Visual Studio interface, it's going to be this commit ID. Either one will work. Okay, so let's jump back to Visual Studio. And inside those that changes box, so again, if we go home and we click on changes, at the top there's actions, and we can click view history. Uh, this shows you the same thing that we were just looking at on github.com. It shows you a history of all of the commits. So here's created lab2 project. Here's added readme file. And you can see there that it has the beginning of the commit ID. Do you see that? 361C. Uh, so you can go ahead and grab it from there by right clicking and selecting view details, or I'm sorry, view commit details, or double clicking on it. And it will show you that commit ID right here. So go ahead and copy that. And that's what I want you to put into uh, the Blackboard comment when you submit submit your homework. So basically, you're going to grab this commit ID. And from the GitHub repository, if you could just grab this URL right here. And that's all you need to submit to Blackboard then is uh, the path to your repository and the last commit ID. Uh, that way, what I can do is I can pull your files directly into Visual Studio, and instead of uh, downloading a zip file or, or reading screenshots that you pasted into Word, I can just take a look at your code directly. So GitHub, really useful tool used by a lot of companies. I would get to know it early because we're going to use it for the rest of the semester. And please contact me quickly if you have any questions. Thanks.